Lawrence being here with the Pugilist Good. Place. We're very lucky today to be here with Eduardo Diaz at the Red Boxing Promotions Media Day here in uh, Montebello. Eduardo, tell us, you have a big event coming up. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of experience, what kind of nerves are you experiencing right now in feelings? Um, it's not really nerves, it's more of what I said earlier in the um, media. It's just, you know, we want to make 2020, like start off with the bang. So I want to give thanks to Red Promotion, thanks to God that for putting me in this situation. Um, just to show what I got. <laughs> so, uh, talk to us about your um, record and what division you participate yeah. in. Yeah. Um, well, I'm currently 3-0, and and I participate in the welterweight division. Yeah. That's a stacked division. Yeah, right now it is. Do you, do you have a nickname? Um, El Torito. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. That's right. Um, and what city are you fighting out of? Um, out of Inglewood, California. Inglewood? Yeah. Um, and what gym? Um, TG Boxing. That is located in South Central. In South Central? Yeah. So you make the commute over there to South Central? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, your nickname, not, it's not a name uncommon to boxers, yeah. where did you get it? Um, we actually got um, called by it twice, because um, when I was small I was very overweight, so I tried doing like Muay Thai when I was small. I couldn't really kick, because like I mentioned, I was overweight, so since I was just coming forward, well, that's what that coach called me, Torito. Uh. And then, when I, when I transitioned into boxing, it's kind I kind of like the same style, it was just come forward, pressure. It's just, you know what they say, when you see blood, you go for it. <laughs> so that was the second question that I was going to ask you about, is your, to describe yourself fighting. So you're saying that you're a come forward fighter? Um, I wouldn't just say come forward, because um, what we do is practice it all around. So if any, like, if anything happens or anything, like, I, I got to back up, I box. It's just, well, you, you guys will see um, on the 25th next week. What, what do you feel like is the greatest weapon that you carry with you inside to the ring? Um, I got two. These two. <laughs> Your left and right. So wrist? yeah, left and right both. I, I don't like choosing one because for one opponent, one thing might work, and then for the next one, it might be a, a overhand. So that's why I don't like choosing one. It's just working all around, and then for whatever gets the job done uh, for that fight, that's that's my best weapon. Boxing is truly one of the most inspiring sports. Yeah. And a lot of fighters were inspired at some point by um, a, a fighter doing, you know, his or her thing inside the ring. What are some of the fighters that you look up to? Um, actually, my last fight, Ray Leonard was there. And of all time, that's my favorite fighter. And I was able to speak to him. Um, I actually like a lot of Mayweather. It's just, I like all these boxers where like, they come out of nowhere. Like, not out of nowhere, like from nothing. And they turn into something. So even since I was watching polls by, like, for example, Gervonta Davis, it's just seeing what you could do with hard work. And then that's what, that's why I stay in the, in the gym 24 seven, you know, just eat, sleep, box. What was that, <laughs> what was that conversation like with Sugar Ray Leonard? Um, Cause my last fight, I was throwing like flurries. And then you know how he sometimes did that? He actually said, well, he kind of complimented me on that. Oh wow, Very Yeah, cool. so it meant a lot to me. And then just being able to do that and more. Well, absolute, an absolute legend and a, and yeah, nice to be complimented yeah. that way by somebody of his stature. Um, <clears throat> what took you into a boxing ring for the first time, and for how long have you been fighting? Um, I've been, I think I walked in when I was when I was about to turn 15. I was already 15. And it was because I started when I was, well, very overweight, like I mentioned. So it was just to lose weight. And then what got me more into, like, fighting, wanting to compete, was that after, like, two months of just training with, um, who's my coach right now, Omar. Um, I started kind of like beating up the people that used to beat me up and they used to box for years. So then that just showed me like with discipline and hard work and just staying focused, it doesn't really matter how much or like the time, it's just um, give it a your own training and don't show off. How'd you like getting punched in the face for the first time? Um, I didn't really, cause you know how you get the adrenaline? So you don't really feel it. It just makes you, you know, want to get them back. Yeah. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm fascinated by that question because boxers react in so many different yeah. ways to that getting punched for the first time in a real way. So talk to us about your training camp for uh, your fight on January 25th. What are you working on? What are some of the things going on inside camp right now? Well, all, like I mentioned earlier, all around this training camp, we have focused more like on power shots, sitting down on our punches. So that's something you guys could probably expect to see this um, um, Saturday night. So what kind of version of yourself are we going to see in the ring uh, come fight night next week? My nickname says it all. Come forward, El Torito. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Uh, where can fight fans follow you on social media? I'm um, on Instagram, at El Torito. No, I changed it not too long ago, that's why. On Instagram, it's Real Torito Diaz. 
And then on Facebook as Eduardo Diaz. Not on Twitter? No, I don't got Twitter. Okay. I gotta get on it, I know. You gotta get on I it. Know. All right, thank you so much. We All right, thank you. To seeing the ring. Best of luck to you. Thank you.